if God, why evil? Well, yeah. You'd think an all-knowing and all-powerful God might have had a say in that little wrinkle, especially if he's also all-caring. Let's do this. <laughs> Greetings, fellow space travelers. Bionic Dance here. Meet YouTuber Rightly Dividing, who has a thing or three to say about why the world is kind of shitty. Spoiler alert, it's all our own fault. Oftentimes it's atheist's most potent weapon to disprove Christianity. Why would God allow these things to happen? But see, God, that was not God's original plan. An all-powerful God had his plans fucked over by fallible, imperfect humans with no supernatural powers. Imperfect humans this allegedly all-powerful God must have created flawed. Do you really not see the illogic here? This is why it's a potent argument against your religion. It points out that your story basically contradicts itself. People always are asking, you know, if God, why is there pain, why is there sickness, why is there death, all boils down to sin. So one little mistake was made a long, long time ago. And thus this God decides to punish the entire universe by allowing disasters and misbehavior for the rest of time. Sounds all loving to me. In Genesis 2.17, God warned man not to, not to disobey, not to eat of the tree of knowledge and good and evil, because we would die. It says that right there in Genesis 2.17. He didn't want to create a bunch of robots to follow him, right? He didn't want to be like, I, I, I follow Jesus. No, he didn't want to do that. What he wanted to do is he wanted people to freely choose him to be able to worship him. So he withholds knowledge of good and evil, which, let's face it, means Adam and Eve would have no idea that disobedience would be, you know bad, and then leaves right out in the open where they can get at it the one thing that could royally screw up these kids he built. You know, last I checked, a good parent or babysitter will try to shield kids from danger. You know those little plastic covers you can put in outlets so toddlers don't go sticking forks in them? Human guardians are more responsible than this god of yours. What he wanted to do is he wanted people to freely choose him to be able to worship him, which is what I've done, which I hope you've done, to choose to freely worship Jesus. That's what his original plan was. He gave us the free will to do so, and we would want to walk with God, but now, guess what? Many people don't even believe in God. You mean the God that never puts in a personal appearance, whose existence sounds even more improbable than most fairy tales? That God? According to scripture, God used to get awfully chatty with earthlings. Funny how those interactions seem to dry up as soon as humanity invented recording gear. And they, they say, oh, why does God allow evil? Well, it's because of sin. God didn't want sin. He didn't want it. But guess what? There had to be, there, there was sin because man disobeyed. We're stupid. We disobeyed, right? That was our fault, not his. God had a perfect plan for humanity, but we messed it up. So it clearly wasn't a perfect plan. A perfect plan would have accounted for such contingencies. How does an allegedly all-powerful God get so easily thwarted by his own creations? And what kind of an all-loving God gets so riled that he decides to punish even future generations for the misbehavior of their ancestors? You've really only got two options here. Either God isn't as perfect as you claim, or the story simply isn't true. You gotta pick one, because, as is, what you're saying isn't believable. So, um... Yeah, guys, I'm I'm praying that you can just, in the face of temptation, you can say, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to worship Almighty Creator, Jesus Christ, the Lord, who died for my sins. I'm forgiven, and I'm not going back to that anymore. And that's another thing I've never quite understood, this desperate need for worship. I can certainly understand a desire for gratitude if, as you claim, we've been done some gigantic favor, and that's a whole other conversation, that is. But worship? We're supposed to worship a god who will punish us quite harshly if we don't. That sounds to me like a bit of an ego problem. That's the stuff dictators are made of, not saviors. And we're supposed to worship a god we cannot experience with our senses, and thus have no way to tell that any experience we do have is not a delusion. And the weirdest part is you never hear religious people say, yeah, I can see how that might be a bit of a sticking point. Nope. What you hear is, have faith or else. You're really not willing to meet us halfway on this one, are you? The takeaway here is that God is really shitty at logistics, blames everybody else for his mistakes, punishing even people who had nothing all to do with his plans in any way, people who didn't even exist yet, then demands worship under pain of torture, and he's perfect. Makes sense to me.
Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Not rating and subscribing has been found to cause obesity, acne, and male pattern baldness in laboratory rats. <sighs> yeah, uh, whatever. Don't let this happen to you. Be sure to rate and subscribe.